ready to get into it? Yes. Yay! So, Annette, do you know anything about this game? Absolutely not. You were like, hey, wanna record this thing with me? And then I forgot the game name you said. And then you said, hey, wanna record this thing with me? And I was like, oh yeah, we were doing that and still didn't know the game you said. The game? It was this, apparently. The game you said. Home safety hotline. Apparently it's like an analog horror thing. Is this analog horror good? Yeah. Subject line. Welcome from HSH Corporate. Welcome to Home Safely Hotline, family. We are pleased to have you on board as our new Home Safety Hotline Responder role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, Home Safety Hotline Corporate. What do they even sell? Like, home safety, is it like, is it like cameras? Guns? <laughs> Are we an arms dealer? I hope so. Sell enough Glocks to meet quota! <laughs> Notice, video files on desktop from corporate. Attention, call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleaned up in due time. Sincerely, corporate. Okay, so we gotta we gotta pay attention to those. I just realized our username is guest uh thirty six. So instead of taking this as oh we're just we're just using this whatever, I'm gonna take that as our name. Yeah, guest. That could be a last name. No, that's our first name. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call your home safety hotline. Keep your family safe. Home safety hotline. 555 home safety. Man, bro, I hate it when mold, metamorphosis, <laughs> flood, fire. Me for real, for real. Here's the people who made it. Thank you to them. The forest troll? Yeah, you know, the forest troll. The forest troll. The forest troll, yeah. Lich? Yeah, you know the one. Is this fucking Discord, but in 1996? No, it opens actual Discord. Oh, I see. Do you want to go into the home safety hotline? Yeah. Do our job. Start the, the grind. We gotta get those coupons, man. Right? It really sold me on it. How many gun can we sell? <laughs> Even just a little pea shooter. Man, I wish it was that easy. Right? No current callers. Bed bugs. Oh, we get to learn about things. Bed bugs are a small insect known for being bitches. <laughs> he -wo? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Thank you, Carol. These little th things are dicks, but also they're not, like, dangerous. Itchy yep. and rash. Bees! Holy shit, that's It's you. Me. Oh my god. It's you. They put me in a video game. You're- you've, you've been classified as a pest. Because I am. It's true. Sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. 
My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffin to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Black bulb. Please One hold. minute, sir. It is black mold. Submit answer. Oh, okay. Black mold. Black mold. Don't have black mold, kids. So... It's bad. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Thank you so much for your call, Grace. Uh, I think it sounds like black mold. Please hold. Do we have mice? Because it's... Often in trees, attics, or roofs. Yeah, but it might be bees. It could also be carpenter ants. They don't go E. <laughs> uh, this isn't a laughing matter. <laughs> I think that it is. We can't leave her on hold forever. Uh, bro, she's not in a life or death situation. Oh my god, the black mold- it Just looks like coffin to me. It would have been cockroaches, Lamo. It's okay. We're- we like- we fecked up instantly. It is literally our first day. We can diagnose people with housefly? <laughs> yeah, he's squeaking! I knew it! I was like, is there mice? There is mice! I just realized there's an audio sample. Yeah, see- How does she not know about mice? Little bandits. Perfect. It's mice. Hello, ma'am. Have you ever heard of mice? They're pretty common. Yeah, I diagnose you with entry inaccessible. I diagnose you with mice. <laughs> Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Ow. Probably a mole. It's probably just digging up stuff. Mole. Hello. John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. My brother in Christmas, it is my first day on the job. <laughs> uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Cool. Never call me again. <laughs> My voice is fucked up, but wouldn't it be funny if I told you a joke? Okay, bye. I mean, I'm sure that is something that happens to real life hotlines. Hey, he looks so sad. I'm sorry, sir, we don't Please diagnose hold. people with good for nothing. Yeah, we actually diagnose them with probably ticks. Being sick and stuff. Tall grass. My good for nothing son's being eaten by ticks. I can't believe this shit. My good for nothing son has Lyme disease and I am doing nothing. Woo! We slayed! I think. We got- we got Thanks. from Mike. Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. Now you are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. 
You don't know enough, it's not too late to quit freely, trust me. Yeah, bro, but you quit, and you you clearly know enough, so, like, I guess it's not it's not too late for quite a while now, isn't it? <laughs> I hope we get, like, some cool archives on our desktop after a few days. I think that'd be fun. I want to know more about this home safety hotline. Do we have any new friends? Nope. No. Hello. Oh. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you've been granted there. access to additional household hazard information. Oh. Did we we already check though? Why'd you have to wait? And not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okie-kadoki. I don't have friends, so this will probably be fine. Bat! Bat. We can't talk about bats? We can't talk about bats. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh... <sighs> Uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Something's getting in. Please hold. It's the black mold. Now it's fine. Now we know we can have them on hold for like ever, so we can just read this. Bed teeth. Ew. Well, it's not that. Allergic reactions and breathing problems. It is black mold. I'm so smart. <laughs> What if we just diagnose everyone with black mold and, and then we find and then we scroll down and there's something better again? Why aren't we allowed to talk about carbon monoxide either? That seems kind of important. Right? Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Well, it doesn't sound like a raccoon. Uh, that doesn't sound like a problem. Well, it's not ants. Oh, is that little guy clean? Did they come out at night? They, they eat dirt, dust and dirt and sticky stuff on floors and dishes. They clean shit. It's like a little fairy. Oh, you know, it's just a common hob. Yeah, you know. When they come out at night, clean your house for you. False. It just happens. Yeah, okay. Yo, Buzz Cooper here. Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open crying all over. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers snapping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. What? What? I think it's- it's like- it's like- it's- it reminds me of the other guy where maybe it's like a thing TM that's trying to- It's like trying to do what it thinks people do when they call this line. Oh, it looks a little more dangerous. Cool. We're trying to read! Inconsiderate. I don't know what's going on inside my house. Me neither. I heard something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. How it's a mouse. It's mice. It could also be a fracture hob. You definitely have mice. 
convinced me. We scroll down, it's like, here is a new kind of hob that only chews on bedposts. <laughs> Why can't we talk to people about frozen pipes? We can't talk to them about house fires either, apparently. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop things or whatever. Okay, so I want to... Oh. Yeah, but it didn't say any visible damage. It would have helped if we had read all of these. <laughs> But these guys aren't giving enough time. Okay, this guy can wait. He's probably not having a house fire. Why do we have to diagnose them with house fire? <laughs> like, they wouldn't know? Could it be? <laughs> Look at him! I don't think an ant would be able to, like, make that noise. Should we diagnose him with fracture hob? <laughs> if this is wrong, you've just been sent illegal information. <laughs> I want to look at the bat again. Bat. Perfect. I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Please He's going through your papers, then is it the desk cob or is it a normal one? Don't worry, it's not it's not Bob from accounting. It is just the fairies. Look at him, little guy. Oh, wow. That was quick. I hope it wasn't quick because we done fucked up awful. Ooh, video. <laughs> We're watching the video, not the mailbox. Mailbox, boring. Video. Let's go. Reading is for plebs. The real estate update. Bro, I wish. Right. Fuck, $80,000? This is 1996. Two beds? Two bathrooms? <laughs> no, three bathrooms. Holy shit, how do you get a four bathroom house? Or a four bed house for this much? They may have a hob infestation. I would take off. Community alert. Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing Wait, you couldn't say it the first Paul time? Parker, male, oh. brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your Five bathrooms? Five bathrooms? Bed, six bathrooms, and it's twelve thousand dollars. That house definitely eats you. Oh, probably. Do you think that's the house that the bush person lives in? Absolutely. If I was a bush person, I'd live in that house. If I was a bush person, I would not eat children. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you if you end up like me. Who joined me in this hole? They haven't found me yet. It is safe here. Thanks, Mike Three. Network errors. Attention, call team. Our network team is migrating to our backend services to a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access, in case the network goes down while you're on a phone call with a client. Oh shit! It We're not allowed to reference stuff if if it breaks. Yeah, that's okay. Everyone has black mold and mice. Yeah. What if they give us new horrors and we can't read it? Oh, there's a pause button. <laughs> That's convenient. Right? Hi. Give us new things. 
Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Bogarts, it is the fairies! Oh, it's a general term for, for, for a hub becoming large. They just watch shit while they sleep. Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt, and we found out on our own what was going on. See you never. What? What? Uh, we got false rosebush. There's, There's something, something in the basement. In the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but oh, I Oh, is it the slug? It's the slug! Please hold. Ray, it's a perfect slug. I don't know why he's scared of it. What does it sound like? Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this- It's a tube hub. <sighs> nasty smell. It might not be a tube hub. Maybe oh. it's a pipe growth. These ones clean. They don't make gross. Did that make gross? It's bad smells. It's weird noises. Bat. I'm so scared that the thing is gonna go down. My wife. I can't. Oh, it's the face name. Or it's the memory thing. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face! She's dead and I can't see her face! They're all gone! It's all gone! Inability to remember the faces of loved ones. But I don't know if it's remembering or if it's like actually not being able to see it. Yeah, that's... Not recognizing your own face, that's different. So it's- it's a memory wisp. Man, it's so easy when it's just a normal problem, not like pipe frickin' leakings. That could be like a hundred things. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, a new friend. Hello, I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business, whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. There's tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles saw at night, putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? <laughs> I don't think this is a real person. I like how his voice has, like, the wibble to it. Like, <laughs> you're a cleaning team. <laughs> They're bad. They fucked up my drawers! That's him. <laughs> I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs are I know like what that crazy. is! Do I need to be showering more often or something? Your sheet teeth. It's... Teeth sheet. It's the sheet... Bed it's teeth. the <laughs> bed teeth. That's oh. okay. We know what bed teeth are. I can't even look at pictures of bats. Maybe it'll come back soon. Hello? I was told to call this number. Is to this ask the about girl my... from I'm on observation duty? I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Peeling paint. Holes in drywall. It's termites. <laughs> Yes. Last week, I called you guys about- and We didn't work last week. Coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell- Well, maybe you should have left out a bowl of cream, idiot. 
Yeah. Get shit. You're supposed to leave food out for Hob. So if they didn't, if they didn't do it, then then it might have turned into a Bogart. Freaking idiot! Maybe you should have left some cream out. Maybe listen, forehead. It's clock out time. We get new Vibio. Space! Frippy! Science mysteries. Number one mystery, what the fuck is a bogart? <laughs> the mystery of mice. Oh. I have no idea. I've never heard of a mouse before. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague enemies. of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Evolving to love? This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. Mus musculus. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A newly discovered species no, no, known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, it's increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Oh my Let's god, are the mice listen. sending us subliminal messages? What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Why do I have to be the mice, not like the octopi? The octopi are way cooler. Right. New office pet, is it a mouse? It's a cat! Hello, home safety hotline family. We're excited to introduce our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Yay! That's a perfect cat. Also, we got a coupon. Fuck yeah. We got silver. We, we fucked up a few things, but it's okay. To receive your discount, simply type the following code in during your online checkout. Pedal to the metal. Keep up the great work, employee. This is a terrible discount. <laughs> They gave us coupons, but no way to use them. <laughs> Back on the clock, gamers. Ready to slay. I want to look at the bat. Bat. Yay. You get to see Was it this time, second. Carol? Yeah, Carol. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely, employee. I'm impressed what? so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission, so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Why are you talking like that? Anyway, add a gom. Gom? Gom. <laughs> That's definitely how you I pronounce it, right? You fun. disrespect my gnomes like this. I don't think it's the water. I think it's the fresh homegrown vegetables. If mysterious food appears, just eat it, idiot. Oh yeah, you know, just the hoard. Yeah, the hoard. The laundry gnomes. Anyway, this guy's totally dealing with a beat. <laughs> We've had him on hold for a considerable amount of time. So I, uh... You do not sound like a real old lady. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh... I think... I think somebody is stalking me. 
Oh. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. Is it a but night goblin? Window, nope, no. Nope. It's totally the night boy. It's specifically outside a window. Look at him. Heck yeah. Bat. Little guy. Perfect creature. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. My Is it the gnomes? To... Dust coming out of ventilation systems. It's the attic gnomes. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. No, please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweet heart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. I miss him so much. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Are there roots or strange artifacts in your house? Roots or the the drain? But if he if he was in bed, then he probably didn't get eaten by a drain. There's a lot of things that can eat children, ma'am. You need to be more specific. <laughs> what? I don't actually know if the being scared of bees and wasps thing matters. Because we don't have anything that steals people that is bees or wasps. That's true. Do you want to do false artifact then? Yeah, let's do false artifact. Ma'am, your son was eaten by Fortnite. <laughs> Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. The hobs eat, eat cheese. Cheese hold. Uh, you leave out... Cheese, yeah. A slice of cheese, yeah, it's fracture hobs. Hello. Place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. Orange drink. <laughs> orange drink. I love how it's capitalized. I hate it when they call us. Don't come to the hole. There the hole is breach. R repeat the hole is breach. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. Knows I'm here. Scheduling changes. Employee. Oh my god, we don't have a name. <laughs> Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Sincerely, corporate. Hello. Supervisor Jeremy Hobbs here. Hello. 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 Any accuracy continues to impress those You're a fairy. and below the soil. Mm -hmm. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Cool. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults. <laughs> Anyway, ma'am, it's a sprig tree. Your child has turned into a tree. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I don't know what the black substance is. Probably blood. You know how it is when these teens these days turn in into trees. <laughs> she calls back. What the fuck do you mean my kid's a tree? Oh, there's holes everywhere on my face. The doctors will help. They're trying to take me somewhere. Please, you have to help me. <laughs> it was probably the Fey flu. Good. No, we don't get to hear the coon. I recently purchased from your company one 
of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane It's probably a false flower. Yeah, actually, one of your flowers is fake, ma'am. Is this the, the, the man? The weird person? Yay! I knew it. Why are all the, the horrors only know how to do a western accent? Oh. trying to listen to soap sprite noises. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. <laughs> I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Thank you. Oh, that's not the normal noise. Is it a friend? I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Oh, could lamp sprites do that? They do look like a bug. His house is actually just on fire, and I'm like, it's the fairies! It's the it's the mirror nymph. We actually clicked right on it. Yeah. Unless our druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other. Oh, that's the horde or a trash gnome. It's the horde, ma'am. I think these are things people should know. I diagnose you with housefly. Hey, uh, so I think I found some kind of door. Is it a portal? It's a portal. It's a portal. Oh, there's a friend! Yay! Great American Hikes. Brought to you by Home Safety Hotline. Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Don't piss off the Spriggan, or you'll become a tree. Supplies. As with any hiking trail, you want to ensure you come prepared with supplies that will help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle. <laughs> iron sword. Yeah, just your trusty iron sword. Climbing gloves. Oh yeah, I most fair are like allergic to iron or something. Like burns them. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. Yeah, I didn't come with shoes. <laughs> Do you guys have any free Yeezys I can borrow? The trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail, consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb to its pristine peak. 
pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be sure to stop and read the info signs litter across the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you're in a high rock fall. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely quiet. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. They're too fucking loud. Enter the cave. We installed a door for funsies. Everybody's got to ask if they can come in after all. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. This looks like stopping. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. A person didn't unsheath their sword, what an idiot. <laughs> Dumbass forgot his sword. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. Did our dude have a sword, or is this the demons? You made it! Now enjoy the view. I mean the fairies. Same thing, technically. Man, it's just a lot of rock. Really, you could just go to the cave and then don't bother. Man, it's a good thing I know a lot about the fae. They can't get me. It's true. I want to see the bat again. Oh dang it. Hi, Carol. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Hey, Carol, what the fuck does that mean? Is the song different? It might have been different every night, and I just never noticed. I think it's different every night? Wild. We've been doing so well, you know what we need? Bat. 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 So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stings to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. Oh, I know what I that is. I've door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so... I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Is it wall secretions? Do those smell good to kids or something? What? <laughs> it's the wall secretions. Um, actually, it's wood secretions. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out Is it a spriggan? I've seen their eyes. They just ask me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something. And told me to yeah, that's just friggin'. I guess mowing the lawn or eating fruit in public is provoking it, maybe? Bad and naughty D&D kids get turned into trees. <laughs> My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. It's, it's, it's the autumn leaves. Oh, it's the Autumn Vines, ma'am. It's the Autumn Vines, ma'am! Man, we're so good at our job. It's true, we are slaying. Hi! Yeah, there's this oh my god, Claire? smell really? of rotten eggs coming oh my from god. my room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's just on the table. 
It's a gopher. <laughs> Ma'am, what the fuck is your problem? I think it's a trash gnome. I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. It might be the dream weaver. Sir, it could be bed bugs, or it could be the spider. The dream weaver. Or maybe a bed hag. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it everything sounds everything sounds like bed bugs. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Are you talking to us like that? Lately my wife's <laughs> clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange be cushion type sound coming from That's outside. a troll. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. Oh, it's a tea friend. My hearing isn't what it used to be after all. Bro, some of this voice acting is like my voice acting. Uh, some people are fucking selling it, and some people are, are like this. It's a tea sprite. We've been um, having some trouble sleeping. Okay. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. It's a bed hag. So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's oh, oh, it's singing in- it's singing in tune. You need to go. It's the whistling fungus thing. I want to listen to him. He was kind of popping off. What a lovely guy. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my eat house, it. and I can't figure out where <laughs> on earth it's coming from. Just to be safe, eat it. I think yeah. I Meatball, too? He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly no. Your dog is dead and has been replaced by a puka. <laughs> and they'll leave. Hey! Oh, I thought- I thought I said you leave. Carol! My shift has ended. Thank goodness gracious. I love my job. I'm so helpful. Hey, we can- we have a browser! Yay! I wanna check our mailbox first, though. Congratulations, employee number 36. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all of the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. And thanks for working through the weekend. Sincerely, corporate. Are we going into the cave? Where are we going? Down? Time to work on the Sabbath. Oh. A trial has begun. What is my trial? Oh, uh, we gotta answer these correctly is the trial. Oh, hello. We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. Uh. Oh, that's why we have the browser. We are many. We are one. We are followers of our queen. What are we? Uh. Is it. The Horde's a hive mind, but I don't think it has, like, one queen. You think we'll just die if we feck it up? I mean, there's only one way to find out. It's- it's probably the Horde. Showcase thy knowledge. Well, it showed us a new screen, so... Look at the little vines around the edge, it's so nice. Yeah. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, and I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please. Oh, that just made me think of animation. Oh yeah! Animation! It was totally that and it shook, so I think we're getting it right. I'm happy this is a fairies thing and not a demons thing. Demons has been overdone and fairies are better. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Oh, it's the rain nymph. It's a beggar because it wants to come in, it asks to come in, and it's water from the sky, it's the rain. You think we're gonna become a whole friend, like like our, our, our pal Mike? No, I think we're cooler than Mike. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? 
Well, there's a lot of nuisances here, you see. Well, we're like a pest control center, kind of. <laughs> I am forever the nuisance. Uh... It could be Feiflu itself. Oh, it could be. Maybe it's Feiflu. Rejoice! I think we did it right. That or we're getting the bad ending. Hey, Carol. Oh, it's not Carol. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? It's the closet thing. It only appears in wealthy people's stuff. You get lost if you go in there, so it's a closet labyrinth. You are so smart. I love playing games with you. It's just- it's just obvious. It also helps that I like fairies a lot. My mind, expanding. My cellular growth, expanding too. That's cancer. <laughs> We are the companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Could be a spriggan or it could be a seedling, but I'm pretty sure it's a spriggan. Uh, it could be either, I'm not sure. I think it's a seedling. Oh, fair. Yeah, I didn't read seedling totally. Nice. Let go thy stilted soul. Okay, I'll do anything for a paycheck. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Uh, part of me wants to say Bogart, but I don't know what the I am the dancer thing means. What What would be that? No idea. I want to go with Bogart. Descend. They just told us to eat shit and die. <laughs> Words a thumbs up. They want us to descend, so... I'm getting mixed messages here. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Well, that's not a lot of information, my mans. So you look for shit and deliver shit. You're not a raccoon. <laughs> a gopher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what the horrors want. Maybe the neighbor door then? Because it could be like... I, I don't know. This one is... I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a bit vague. Our screen didn't shake that time. Oh, we must have fucked up. Yeah, it still just says descend, so... Hello, employee. Supervisor She's Carol here. Smiling. We've been watching you for some time. Well, yeah, because we fucked up. We've been rather disappointed in your performance no. here. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. No, we fucked up! Well, he didn't give us a lot of information to go off of. No. Oh! We've become the smart mouse. And all these unemployed rats these days. <laughs> Wait, so we get to try it again? Yeah. Okay. This one we did the horde, right? We totally fucked up the first one. Why? It's- it's probably bees! We're many, we're above, we follow our queen! Oh my god, you're right! Let's try again, then. I think we probably got it close the other time. To read and make sure there isn't something else it could be. What's the Dorsha again? A Dorsha will deliver that which it seeks. I think that thing is a Dorsha. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the first one's totally bees. How did we not realize that? Um... You are a bee. Oh, it's the animation. That one's totally- there's nothing else that can be. Uh, this one's totally the rain nymph. There's nothing else it could be. Classic rain nymph moment. I don't remember what this one is. Mouse? Fly? Fly. It's totally a fly. Because it said mice are friends. It's the closet. So this one was seedling. I mean, it's definitely a fire thing, but like, what's a dancer bringer of destruction? What if it's just fire? People say fire dances, right? Yeah. Now this one's the 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 the, the spooky delivery seeky lad. The Dorsha. The yeah. Why is it such a long waiting time? They don't want you to get the good ending. Okay. Carol. Carol, please be nice. Carol, please. I am trying my best. Let me descend. Hello. Supervisor Carol. Yeah, she still looks happy with us. Watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded, and I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. 
Oh my god, we're getting promoted! Hear me out. Kind of a smash. Am I becoming am I becoming a better rat? They're putting me into the wild where I can get eaten by crows. Oh my god, pretty woman? Pretty woman? Please, be not afraid. Come close. Do we get a flower crown too? Holy shit, I love flower crowns. Yay! Promotion! We're actually cool and didn't become a mouse. Exactly. I don't know what Mike was complaining about. All hail our new junior supervisor! Oh my god, I'm a junior supervisor! Holy shit! <laughs> Look at them. This feels like something out of Goosebumps. It does. Well, Lynette, how do you feel about home safety hotline? I love fairies! Same. I'm happy it was a fairy game! I thought it would be like a corrupted computer game. Or demons, that's usually what it is. Yeah. Or aliens. But no, it was not the horrors, it was the fairies, which are also the horrors, but cooler. Agreed. I definitely thought that the things we'd be encountering would be more like observation duty-esque, but I think them being fairies is really cool. Right? So much better. Thumbs up! Thumbs up!